multiplication chart practice. Math is a subject that requires lots of practice. Before doing some practice for the multiplication chart, let's brief review all the key points. Here are some simple rules. Any number multiplies by 10. Just add 0 to the 1's position. Any number multiplies by 1 is the same number. Any number multiplies by 2, just add the same number. Any number multiplies by 3, just add the same number, then add again. Any number multiplies by 4, just add the same number, then double the result. Any number multiplies by 5. Odd number is always with 5 in the 1's position, and even number is always with 0 in the 1's position. Split the number as close as possible, then the lower number should be in the tens position. Any number multiplies by 9. The tens position is the number minus 1, and the ones position is its pair number, which is 10 minus the number. For remaining combinations, primarily for any number multiplies by 6, 7 or 8, split 6 to 5 plus 1 and 8 to 9 minus 1. Then use the old methods to calculate. Use your own way to memorize 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Now, let's start some practice. What is 2 times 10? What is 10 times 5? What is 1 times 7? What is 8 times 2? What is 3 times 6? What is 4 times 9? What is 7 times 5? What is 5 times 8? What is 6 times 9? What is 9 times 8? Now, you can stop the video and take some time to think about it and write down the answers. Multiplication is more complex than addition and subtraction. You need to do more practice. Now, let's check the answers. What is 2 times 10? Any number multiplies by 10, just add 0 to the 1's position. So 2 times 10 is 20. What is 10 times 5? 10 times 5 is the same as 5 times 10. Any number multiplies by 10, just add 0 to the 1's position. So 5 times 10 is 50. What is 1 times 7? 1 times 7 is the same as 7 times 1. Any number multiplies by 1 is the same number. So the answer is 7. Any number times 1 is the easiest calculation. What is 8 times 2? Any number multiplies by 2, just add the same number. 8 times 2 is 8 plus 8 equals 16. The answer is 16. What is 3 times 6? 3 times 6 is the same as 6 times 3. Any number multiplies by 3, just add the same number, then add again. So, 6 times 3 is 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. The answer is 18. You can see that multiplication can be converted to addition. If you can memorize the addition chart, multiplication is much easier. What is 4 times 9? 4 times 9 is the same as 9 times 4. Any number multiplies by 4, just add the same number, then double the result. To calculate 9 times 4, firstly calculate 9 plus 9 equals 18, then 18 plus 18 equals 36. There is another way to calculate 4 times 9. Any number multiplies by 9, the tens position is the number minus 1, and the ones position is its pair number. 4 times 9, the tens position is 4 minus 1 equals 3, the ones position is the pair number of 4, which is 6. So the answer is 36. This looks easier than the first method. What is 7 times 5? Any number multiplies by 5, odd number is always with 5 in the ones position. Split the number as close as possible, then the lower number should be in the tens position. 7 can be split to 3 and 4, 3 is the lower number, so the tens position is 3. Since 7 is an odd number, the ones position is 5. The answer is 35. What is 5 times 8? 5 times 8 is the same as 8 times 5. Any number multiplies by 5. Even number is always with zero in the ones position. Split the number as close as possible, then the lower number should be in the tens position. Eight can be split to four and four. Four is the lower number, so the tens position is four. 
Since 8 is an even number, the 1's position is 0. The answer is 40. What is 6 times 9? Any number multiplies by 9. The 10's position is the number minus 1, and the 1's position is its pair number. 6 times 9. The tens position is 6 minus 1 equals 5. The ones position is the pair number of 6, which is 4. So the answer is 54. What is 9 times 8? 9 times 8 is the same as 8 times 9. Any number multiplies by 9. The tens position is the number minus 1, and the ones position is its pair number. 8 times 9. The tens position is 8 minus 1 equals 7. The ones position is the pair number of 8, which is 2. So the answer is 72. Now, let's do more practice. What is 6 times 6? What is 6 times 7? What is 4 times 6? What is 7 times 7? What is 7 times 8? What is 8 times 6? What is 9 times 8? What is 8 times 8? Now, you can stop the video and take some time to think about it and write down the answers. Those are more complex calculations. Just take your time. You need a lot of practice. Let's check the answers. What is 6 times 6? Any number times 6, you can split 6 to 5 plus 1. So 6 times 6 is 5 plus 1, then times 6. You can use the distributive property formula and split to two multiplications. 6 times 1 is still 6. 6 times 5 is 30. You add those two numbers, 6 plus 30 equals 36. The answer is 36. What is 6 times 7? 6 times 7 is the same as 7 times 6. Any number times 6, you can split 6 to 5 plus 1. So 6 times 7 is 5 plus 1, then times 7. You can use the distributive property formula and split to two multiplications. 7 times 1 is still 7. 7 times 5 is 35. You add those two numbers, 7 plus 35 equals 42. The answer is 42. What is 4 times 6? You can split 6 to 5 plus 1, or you can calculate 6 times 4. 6 plus 6 equals 12, and 12 plus 12 equals 24. The answer is 24. What is 7 times 7? This is the only one you need to memorize. 7 times 7 is 49. Just memorize the result. What is 7 times 8? Any number times 8, you can split 8 to 9 minus 1. So 7 times 8 is 9 minus 1, then times 7. You can use the distributive property formula and split to two multiplications. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 1 is still 7. You subtract 7 from 63. 63 minus 7 is 56. The answer is 56. What is 8 times 6? 8 times 6 is the same as 6 times 8. Any number times 8, you can split 8 to 9 minus 1. So 6 times 8 is 9 minus 1, then times 6. You can use the distributive property formula and split to two multiplications. 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 1 is still 6. You subtract 6 from 54, 54 minus 6 is 48. The answer is 48. What is 9 times 8? You can split 8 to 9 minus 1, or you can calculate 8 times 9. The tens position is 8 minus 1 equals 7. The ones position is the pair number of 8, which is 2. So the answer is 72. What is 8 times 8? Any number times 8, you can split 8 to 9 minus 1. So 8 times 8 is 9 minus 1, then times 8. You can use the distributive property formula and split to two multiplications. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 1 is still 8. You subtract 8 from 72. 72 minus 8 is 64. The answer is 64. Now, you can do the whole multiplication charts with ease. With some practice, you can truly memorize the whole chart within a short period.